bit more professionally. Once again, playing Tungu. I'm just going to do a casual game after a few attempts, getting to learn the area, trying out a few different strategies. I think I'm pretty comfortable. Let's hope I don't sit around for 20 years waiting for uh, these free guys to do anything. But anyway, Tengus of Tengu. The 15th century was a time of turbulence in Indochina and Indonesia, which saw many new dynasties rise while others faded. Ever since Ming reverted to a more passive foreign policy in the 1430s, Malacca has dominated sea trade, competing with Pasai in Sumatra, Brunei in Borneo, and Mahafafet in Java. In northern and central Indochina, Dai Viet, Alifathaya, Lila, Nang Zhang are competing with the old kingdoms of Champa and Khmer, the Burmese city state of Taungu soon to become the most aggressive empire in the region, was in 1444 still a small state dependent on Ava. Oh, how things will change. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Arakan is not rivaling me. That means I can use them as a... pretty much a booster to get going. Okay. Mm, how good are my leaders? Okay, game, are you? You're gonna do something horrible to me. I know you are. I, I, I don't believe you. Build spine network. Okay. Still trading on those two. Oh, uh, what else? Institutions, I'm going to wait. More alliances, I guess. So, I should be able to pick up Kale. Yep. And. Let's go with Hessenway. Okay, what are you allied with? Aphelia and Mong Pai, Khmer and Langzel, Langzeng and Pro. Okay. So I am going to have to wait for a good opportunity. Aphelia and Mong Pai, that'll be a great one to grab. That'll be a great one to grab when Aphelia goes to war. War, hopefully against Lang Zhang, something that'll make it too uh, dedicated to come to Prome's defense. But yeah, opening strategy is really just trying to correct Prome. Maybe vassalize Mong Pei and steadily eat at Pegu. Prom. Uh, you've allied with Prom now too, haven't you? Hmm. It's not too bad. That's 13k. It's possible. How fast do I gain favors? Every two years, a few. Every one year's a few. I think every two years a few, okay. Let's claim territory. Let's just wait. There we go. Now, let's see. Truth of Khmer ends in 1450. Let's see if I can just get my air killed in the meantime. Uh, let's 
see, Lang Zhang, Meng Yang, and Prome. Hmm. Okay, you're at war with Khmer and Lan Na. Still, it'll be 13k. Great, thank you, game. Um. Chrome and Lang Zang. Yeah, we don't want Lang Zang. Okay, let's see if they will. Fighting Kimmy is a pretty large war. Hopefully, it will. Yep, there we go. Ooh, that that. Did they get besieged by? But I will. Okay, we will promise territory to Arakan. Pegu is allied with Lang Zhang, so we don't want to deal with that. Okay. Unless Lang Zhang's not going to join the war, but I highly doubt that. Yeah, Lang Zhang's perfectly fine. Okay, so let's get an early war in against Prome. Promise Arakan territory we're not going to give them. Mong Pai and Peggy. Ah, oh, I should have raided. Oh, um. Yeah, let's go crush that real quick. Oh, yeah, let's put in. Myself? Well, the king. Come on, stack wipe! Yes! Love it. Let's go stack wipe the other guys. Development efficiency. Nice. Can I... Oh, yes. All oh, those stack wipes. Come on, Arakan. Oh, this is... Oh, this is good. Yeah. Together, we will be indefeatable. Murder, murder, murder. Awesome. Just fantastic. Um, actually, let's go... Oof. Okay. Stir. Okay, they're going to demand some territory. Yeah, I didn't really get to build up much of a war chest now, did I? Okay, that should be up to over 9k. 
Yep, sweet. So ideally, if they peace out of the war after we take that, that'll be great. I have two siege, they have none. After I get Mong Pei out, I'll go sit on Prome and probably put my siege guy in with that siege there. Speed it up by a few ticks. Water shortage, nice. Because ideally they shouldn't leave the war until after, for a while at least. Even though they will be fully occupied. What's my air like again? He has no siege pips done. Oh, come on. Anytime now is all I'm saying. Ah, uh, drat, there goes some of my spy network. Okay, let's build two more East Asian Spearmans, just in case they uh, leave. Water shortage. I hate the fact that they've gone out of 5k. I should have gone for them first. I wasn't expecting to uh, have this siege going on for so long. Okay, more water shortage. Great! <laughs> Uh, might not even need have time to come down. Wow. Okay. Siege, please, please tick. There is even. Oh wow. This game's RNG sometimes. Okay, finally! Mong Pai? You refuse to leave just yet. Okay, I'll still be in positive prestige after this war. Okay. I have 9,000 with only 5,000 of you. Yeah, that's not going to go well. Let's see if I can get them to split off, maybe. Okay. That gets me some more territory. Peg you. I could grab Peg you itself. And I might do that if I can't get this. Individually, I should be able to take them. Together, probably not. Bum, 
Bum, bum, bum, bum. This one. Why do I have free cavalry? Okay, you're at peace. That's oh, they made you get rid of me being an ally. Rude. That's just rude, bro. Twenty one versus zero percent. Watch as they get it first. I don't know, maybe it'll be nice to me considering um It'll be nice to me considering the siege earlier. I guess not. Okay, that'll get me quite a lot of countries upset. So for trace of 13.5, aggressive expansion. 1458, 10 years. risk one more siege tick. Oh sweet. Okay. So if I try going that together that's 43 versus 20. And I think it's 23 anyway for that. 26. Okay, so that's... Alright, that's a bit better. But I would get less money, a lot less money. Alright, so separate piece still then. I will take the aggressive expansion for money. And no treaties with Lang Zhang. Okay. And then you give me money. Prome. Uh, I can't return that, but if I take it, it'll give me. Okay, well, who's gonna hate me anyway? Arakan, Hong Yang. Hmm. Humiliate. More reps. And annul your alliance. That'll keep my aggressive expansion relatively low. Okay. Alright. Now I release the vassal Mong Nai. Mong Pai, sorry. I don't think that reduces aggressive expansion at all, does it? Not really. But, I now have both of those. Okay, I can grab that. Pay off my loans. And I have a fort now. So not a bad opening. Would have wanted to do more, but the aggressive expansion just would have been too high. Uh, so let's take that prestige, disinherit my heir, 
then let's grab Lana. And who else would make a decent rival? Uh, let's go Hesapal. Alright. Let's put... Actually, let's keep you up going for... Rebel Suppression, considering. Let's give you to the... Uh, yeah, Monastic Order. To get some clicks out of them. Six foot of the clergy. 150 admin points. And I need to wait on that becoming a state before I can do anything. Cool. Yeah, that should hopefully degrade pretty quickly. Supportive. Devastation is ticking down. Now I just have to hope that the coalition doesn't get called. It's pretty sizable. But I have some decent allies. Chrome is mine, not yours. Okay. Let's see, I'm still at 11. How long until that calling's done? A tiny bit. Now we wait for the next. Okay, they're gonna try this. Alright. Um, let's raise autonomy then. The only annoying thing is that one there. Oosh. Gain 10 karma. Oh, I should have read that event out. Whoopsies. Just okay, wow. Um. Okay, yeah, let's get some manpower. Just wow. Okay, let's um let's begin taking these guys out one at a time. Ah damn, I was hoping to get military before uh, the Renaissance popped. Probably take it off four. Don't worry, Kale. Let us work to secure a constant supply of bodies for their work. Oh yeah, I could actually claim all of their... Uh, no, I still can't claim Mullion. Okay, Burma. Sweet. Let's do that. Let's give you to the Merchant Guilds. 
And let's extract some sweet, sweet Diplo from you. 78, okay. Mm, and some money while we're at it. Sweet, free percent all be professionalism. Ah, demanding military points. Okay, come on. Come on, stack up with me. That is a terrible general. I swear to God, if you get it at 21%. Seven. We don't deal with seven. Nice time to get that. Oh, wow. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think this is the first time in a long while I have a coalition war at, um, at a hundred percent war score. Um, I think I need to retitle the episode. I don't think we could call this Humble Origins. Not with the amount of stack wiping which has gone on. Let's, um, consolidate. Let's leave behind two cavalry, considering how lopsided this is. Just that one, okay. Um, I forget if anything special happens when you uh, get a coalition to negative 100%. Just so much rape. They're offering us in the following terms, and they're negotiating for their entire alliance. Hmm. Things to do. Obviously, I shouldn't take more aggressive expansion. Despite how awesome that would be. Yeah, I can never sign separate peace deals. Um. But I could give it to other people. What do you want, Hessingway? You want you want all that? I could make my allies so big right now. I think I might. I think I just might. Actually, let's just see what I can do here. Okay. Let's do that. I can't have them know any treaties? Oh yeah, I can. No treaties or no treaties. 35 ducats. I would gain 11 prestige. Uh, let's humiliate. Shame we can't show strength. Because yeah, I will already have too high war exhaustion. Um, send your alliances. Let's do that. Okay. So much for the punitive war. I mean, that was a bit costly for me, and I probably should have ended that sooner, but holy hell. <laughs> I was just having too much fun wrecking everything. Uh, sadly, I didn't get too much prestige from it, but my power projection is just off the bloody charts. Okay. Unrest is decently high. Let's gather my army back up. 
Let's suppress these rebels. Okay. All right. And I'm going to cut off this stream here and start it up again so I don't have to do any editing in YouTube later. All right, so just be back in five seconds. Or five minutes, sorry, just going to go do things. <laughs>